This election must count as one of the most fascinating, unpredictable ever. Tonight, we'll so see how near the winner of this election could get to the very so door. Coming, we will relay to see how much the power balance has shifted. Quite remarkable, this exit poll. The Conservatives on 316. And it leaves us poised for a fascinating night. Mary Black, Scottish National Party, 23,000. <laughs> Kirsten Francis Oswald, Scottish National Party, 23,000 and 30. This is, of course, an enormous moment for the SNP, and no one can deny that. The people of Scotland are speaking, and it is time for their voice to be heard at Westminster. The Scottish lion has roared this morning across the country. <laughs> Neil Coyle is duly elected. Labour take that seat from the Liberal Democrats. You can see it on Simon Hughes' face. What a night. What a night. Vince Cable, the business secretary, defeated in Twickenham. This has been a cruel and punishing night for the Liberal Democrats. The election has profound implications for the country. It also obviously has profound implications for the Liberal Democrats. Well, it would be fair to say it was a brutal campaign. But when you go into it, you know it's going to be brutal. I mean, it's never an easy ride, is it? This has clearly been a very disappointing and difficult night that I'm deeply sorry for what has happened. 16,694. And I hereby declare that the said Boris Johnson is duly elected. Cameron David William Donald, the Conservative Party candidate, 35,201. I will make sure I do not let you down. I am confident Labour will be back. This general election has produced quite a remarkable story. It will be a leadership election uh, for the next leader of UKIP. I will consider whether to put my name forward to do that job again. I must take responsibility, and therefore I announce that I will be resigning as leader of the Liberal Democrats. Britain needs a Labour Party that can rebuild after this defeat, so I'm tendering my resignation. The fight goes on. One of the most extraordinary election nights any of us can remember. The official result of this general election is a majority win for the Conservatives. I've just been to see Her Majesty the Queen, and I will now form a majority Conservative government. We will govern as a party of one nation, one United Kingdom. The Conservatives win the general election. They've defied the polls, winning an outright majority in the House of Commons. In the last few minutes, David Cameron has arrived back at 10 Downing Street to begin his second term as Prime Minister, declaring he would govern for all the UK. Together, we can make Great Britain greater still. But it was a disastrous night for Labour and the Liberal Democrats. In the wake of their